In this lesson I will show you how to create such a part, create a new project and we will start by creating a sketch in the part design module and create the sketch on the XY plane and at the beginning we will create a circle whose center will coincide with the origin of the coordinate system. Select diameter dimensioning, select the circle and enter 20 mm as the diameter of the circle. Click close to exit the sketch. Next we will create another sketch. This time it will be a sketch of a path after which we will add an extrusion of this profile along the path. And this sketch will be created on the XZ plane. Select polyline command and create a polyline so that the first point of the polyline coincides with the origin of the coordinate system. And draw more elements of the polyline and place the last point of the polyline on the x-axis and right click to finish drawing the polyline and right click again to cancel the polyline drawing command. Now we will add constraints and dimensions to this sketch. Select this line and that line and select an equality constraint. Then select the horizontal dimension, select this point and this point and here enter 120 millimeters then select this line and here enter 80 millimeters now select the vertical dimension select this point this point and here enter 60 millimeters and now we are going to add rounding here and so that we don't lose the dimensions we added Select Constraint Preserving Sketch Fillet. Select this line and this line. Then select this line and that line. Now select the Equality Constraint. Select this arc and this arc. And select Constraint Radius to specify the radius of the arc. Select the arc and enter 30 mm here. and right click to cancel the dimensioning of the arc. The sketch is not fully constrained yet and here the equality constraint for these lines is missing. This constraint was removed when adding the rounding. Select these two lines and select the equality constraint and the sketch is now fully constrained. Click close to exit the sketch and now I will show you what happens if we add an extrusion of this profile along this path. Select this profile, select additive pipe command to add a profile extrusion along the path. This sketch was selected as the profile. Click the object button and select the path. And here, as you can see, an extrusion of this profile along this path has been added. However, it was made in such a way that at the end here we don't have a flat element as in this case, but it is finished this at an angle. And in situations like this, to make a profile pull out along the path and have everything look correct here at the end as well, we can simply create an end profile of such an extrusion and to do this, create a new sketch, select the XY plane and at the beginning select create external geometry and select this line. Right click to cancel this command and here I wanted to get the end point of this line. Now select to draw a circle and let's create a circle so that the center of the circle coincides with this point. Next let's select constrain diameter, select the circle and here enter 20 mm as the diameter of the circle. And click close to exit the sketch. And now let's add the profile extrusion along the path again, select the initial profile, select the additive pipe command and then select the path. And now we have the same thing we had before, but if we select multi-section as transform mode, then we can select further profiles of this extrusion. Click add section and select the final profile and now the extrusion looks like this and looks much better than before, but click cancel to cancel this operation. 
and now let's create additional intermediate profiles and we will create these profiles on construction planes that are perpendicular to this line and to this line. We will simply create two construction planes. And to create a construction plane that will be perpendicular to the line and will lie at the selected point, select this point, then with the control key select the line and select create a datum plane. Here an error appeared, but select normal to edge and the plane was created. Click OK, select this plane and now select create sketch to create a sketch on this plane. And I'm going to rotate the view slightly so that you can see what it looks like. And now to create a rectangle, select centered rectangle here so that the center of the rectangle is related with this point. Now select the vertical dimension, select this line and enter 20 millimeters here. Then select the horizontal dimension, select this line and enter 40 mm here. Let's add roundings at the corners of this rectangle and in order not to lose the dimensions, select Constraint Preserving Sketch Fillet and select this line and this line and repeat this for the other corners of the rectangle. Right click to cancel this command, then select these four arcs And select the constraint equal command so that these arcs are equal to each other. And now select constraint radius, select one radius and enter 5 mm as the radius dimension and click OK. Click close to exit the sketch and now we will create a second construction plane. With the control key select the point and this line and select create a datum plane. And as with this plane, select normal to edge here and click OK. And here on this plane we need the same sketch and instead of creating the sketch from scratch, we can copy this sketch from this plane to this plane. Select this plane, select create sketch and select create carbon copy. Then press Ctrl and Alt and click on the line of the sketch you want to copy. Click close to exit the sketch and we have sketches of intermediate profiles on this plane and on this plane. Let's turn off the visibility of the construction planes. And now let's add the profile extrusion along the path in such a way that the intermediate profiles are also included. Select the initial profile, select the additive pipe command, then select the path along which we will add an extrusion and here select multi-section and select the text intermediate profile. Click add section, select the profile, then add section, select the profile and click at section again and select the profile. Click OK to approve and this is how we got such a solid. And thanks to this operation, thanks to the operation of extruding profiles along the path, including intermediate profiles, we can create really interesting shapes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.